A living 808. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think of insect control, the last thing that comes to mind are insect killing plants. But it's true, they exist. And here to tell us more about them is our good friend Rod Oshima from Diamond Head Plants. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Kelly. All right, Rod, I've never even heard of this. I am so excited to talk about the plants. But first, mm -hmm. you have something very exciting coming up. Can you tell us a little more about that? Sure. We're having a Quinea Orchid Show on the March 24th, 25th, and 26th at Lelu High School. Okay, and how is Diamond Head Plants participating? Well, we're going to be educating and showing plants like these behind us, um, Desert Rose and Bonsai. Okay, wonderful. And uh, the event, when is this all happening so that no one misses out? Okay, it's the March 24th, okay. 25th, and 26th. Okay. So next weekend. Perfect. And then what about the timing? The time is 9 to 5. Okay, perfect. And not only are you doing it at Lelehua High School, but you also have an opportunity for folks on the Windward side to get a hold of plants Correct. as well. Correct. And it's the same days. Can you tell us more about that one? Right. It's the uh, Windward Orchid Society show at Sam King Intermediate. Same hours, 9 to 5, and basically have displays on orchids and plants for sale. Okay, so is it more to purchase plants or is it more to actually learn about them? Actually, it's both because, you know, you have professional vendors there that'll explain to you how to take care of the plants and also you can purchase them. Okay, I love it. Perfect. Okay, so we got to talk about these pitcher plants. I've never heard of insect killing plants before. I didn't know it was a thing and I was just telling you, I had a bit of a gnat problem about a week ago and I wish I had one of these. So tell us exactly what they are. Uh, they're called nympenthes or pitcher plants. The local people are starting to call them mosquito plants. Okay. And they're indigenous to Southeast Asia in the jungles. And, and how exactly do they work? You were telling me a little bit off screen. Yeah. It's um, incredible. It produces its own pheromone which attracts insects. And once they fall in, there's little hairs inside of this that'll keep it from crawling back out. And it also produces um, a gastric acid you might say, so it dissolves the, the insect. It doesn't just rot, it dissolves it. So there's no odor or scent to it. That's incredible. That's true. There is no scent. Because when you spray like a bug spray right. or a repellent, that is terrible. And also, it's not healthy for you. And I am telling you firsthand, I am standing less than a half a foot away from this, and there is no scent. It smells like just a normal good plant. And I don't know if the camera would be able to catch it, but I took a peek inside of one of these tubes, and I actually saw a couple of bugs. So it does work. That's super neat. Correct. So do people kind of come with an insect problem or is it more that it's it's kind of a double duty like it's just a beautiful looking plant that happens right. to also, also help them out yeah it's a double duty because it is attractive it's very unique in itself and you know it's functional because you can hang it indoors or out and it'll attract insects the bigger ones will like this one here will eat bigger like roaches. Oh, you know, really? Small ones, gnats, flies, mosquitoes, but they're all carnivorous. And say you were, you said that they produce, how, how exactly does it work again? <laughs> they produce a liquid pheromone that okay. attracts insects. And so that one works the same, it's just right. kind of on a bigger scale. Right, and you can see. Oh, wow, look at there's that. There's a fluid in here. And there's little specks of insects. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can actually kind of see some of the specks of insects. So that's actually how it works. Right. And then the liquid kind of traps them as well because then they can't fly out. And then, as you were saying, there's also that hairs down. Yeah, and they have a little cap that pre uh, prevents rainwater from getting in because they do produce their own fluids. Okay. And do the plants actually, I just, you know, don't know how this works, but do the plants actually need the bugs? Do they take any nutrients for them? or? Yeah, they do. Um, I've learned that wow. you cannot fertilize these plants too much because then they're not hungry. When they're hungry, really? they'll produce all these little pictures. You know? That is incredible. I am, my mind is blown right now because I have never heard of this before. But that is very neat. So if you want to learn more about this, about the plant, and also mm -hmm. pick up your own, again, you're not going to want to miss this. It's going to be uh, coming up on, again, can you remind us of the dates? March 24th, 25th, and 26th. And there's the two locations as right. well. Leliho High School and King Intermediate. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Rod, for joining us. Uh, we're going to have all that information on Living 808. Make sure you head on over to our Facebook page and on over to K12.com. All right, well, we've got a lot more coming up on Living 808 that you don't want to miss. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.